हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर इम्तियाज़ हसन फ्राम जामिया मिल इस्लामिया अ सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी न्यू डेली टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मॉड्यूल प्रिपरेटिव अल्ट्रा सेंटिफिकेशन फ्राम द पेपर सेंटिफिकेशन टेक्निक सो इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस फॉलोइंग थिंग डिटेल दैट इज़ द वाट इज़ द प्रिपरेटिव अल्ट्रा सेंटिफिकेशन टेक्निक्स वाट इज़ द बेसिक principle of this pre preparative ultra centrifugation techniques then common features of the preparative ultra centrifugation fuges then the different types of preparative ultra centrifuges then the method for the gradient preparation how because the gradient is the very important factor during for the preparative ultra centrifugation so how the gradient are prepared and then of course its application especially in the area of biological science how this ultra centrifugation technique is utilized for the separation of different types of molecules and the analysis of complex formation so we first describe what is the centrifugation technique so the biological centrifugation is a process that uses centrifugal force to separate or purify the mixture of biological particles in the liquid medium it is a key technique for isolating and analyzing cells subcellular fractions supramolecular assembly and isolated micromolecules such as protein or nucleic acids so the first development of first analytical ultra centrifuge by sevedberg in in late 1920 and the technical refinement of the preparative centrifugation technique by claude and colleagues in the 1940s positioned the centrifugation technology in the center of biological or biomedical research today centrifugation technique represents a critical tool for modern biochemistry and are implied in almost all invasive subcellular studies so we give you the basic concept of the i'll give you the basic concept of the analytical uh, preparative ultra centrifuge so it is used to separate the particles or the molecules such as cells subcellular components proteins nucleic acids and other cellular components what are the factors what are the basis for separation of these molecules the first is the size because of the difference in their sizes the molecules have different tendency to separate it with respect to the different gradient medium then the of course shape plays very significant role in the separation of the molecule and of course density is also an essential factor so these three components are actual basis for the separation of the biological molecules during the preparative centrifugation when you apply the very high ultra centrifugal force to separate the molecules so what are the method what are the basic principle behind the separation it simply the utilizes the density difference between the medium of the particle and macro molecules in which the medium is dispersed so it is just like the water the molecule has to be separated and in which medium it is so difference in the, the density of these two things is actually the factor that separates these molecules and that depends upon the shape size and density and the dispersed medium are subjected to artificially induced gravitational field and then the in that gravitational field these molecule settle as per the their density so basically the ultra centrifuge are divided into two category depending upon the application the first is the analytical ultra centrifuge and second is the preparative ultra centrifuge analytical ultra centrifuge uses a small volume that is the less than 1 ml and it has an inbuilt optical system to analyze the progress of the molecule during the centrifugation process in the analytical ultra centrifugation people use relatively pure sample for the measurements of its features biophysical properties and characterization it use precisely determine the sedimentation coefficient and molecular weight of the molecule there is one example of beckman model e that is the used for these purposes the preparative centrifuge is the similar to the analytical centrifuge but is slightly differed from the analytical centrifuge like it can uses large sample size and it doesn't have any optical readout collect fraction and analyze them after the run 
so once the run is complete then this can be utilized then the less pure sample can also be used as in the case of analytical only the pure sample can be used but here the less pure sample can be used but it can be used to estimate the sedimentation coefficient and hence the molecular mass of the molecule it is generally used to separate cell organelle and molecules most centrifugation work done using preparative ultra centrifugation which is used for the separation of most of the cell organelle like the the mitochondria chloroplast lysosome etc it comes in the available models several available models such as l565 and l575 for the preparative purposes preparative ultra centrifuges are used in biology for palleting of particulate fractions such as cellular organelle like mitochondria microsome ribosome and viruses they can also be used for the gradient separation in which the tubes are filled from the top to bottom with an increasing concentration of dense substance in the solution like the sucrose gradient are typically used for the separation of cellular organelle and the gradient of cesium chloride is used for the separation of nucleic acids preparative ultra centrifuge works at a minimum temperature of 4 degrees celsius and capable for reaching up to a speed of 1 lakh rpm and uh, that force is approximately equal to 8 lakh g so the preparative ultra centrifuge are available in a wide variety of rotor that is suitable for the wide range of exper experiments depending upon the what kind of ballot samples you are going to handle and most of the rotor are designed to hold the tubes that contains the sample so it is simply you fit the sample in the tube and that tube fits in the rotor and we to expand the molecule at the very high speed so there are three types of rotors are available for the analytic uh, preparative ultra centrifuge one is the swinging bucket rotor that allows the tubes to hang on the hinks so the tubes or e orient to the horizontal so initially it is like this once it the centrifuge started it becomes the the swinging bucket rotor it becomes like that so it is the horizontal to the axis of rotation then the fixed angle rotor they have their angle are fixed and usually at 45 degree degrees so they are made in a single block of the metal and hold the tubes in the cavities bored in a predetermined angle and the third type of rotor are designed to contain a large volume of sample in a single central cavity rather than a tubes some zonal rotors are capable of dynamic loading and unloading of sample while rotor is spinning at high speed that is the most advanced feature of this type of rotor that while rotation you can load the sample and unload the sample both the things you can do without stopping the system so the preparative centrifugation technique is basically based on the differential centrifugation method and you can see here that the particles of different size are may, are present in the solution and once it is centrifuged then the particle of the different size starts settling down that settling or sedimentation rate of biological molecules is depends on their size shape and density these are the major factor that decides that what molecule sediments at what speed and at what time so that is the basic principle or the basis for the separation of the molecules during the differential centrifugation now we discuss about the moving boundary or differential valley centrifugation here you can see the entire tube is filled with the sample and centrifuged through centrifugation one obtains a separation of two particles but any particle in the mixture may end up in the supernatant or in the pellet or it may be distributed in the both fractions depending on its size shape density and condition of the centrifugation and repeat the sedimentation at the different speeds so the different molecules has been collected like you can see in figure 2 at the low speed only the bigger molecules are separated then a speed increases faster then some more molecules are separated then further increase in the speed and further increase in the speed lead to the separation of the different molecules and this separation is actually depends upon the size shape density and condition of the centrifugation condition means the viscosity of the medium although it is the low resolution it separates low resolution 
but it is very useful because this is the preparative method that can these or separator organelle can be further utilized for the other estimation or other characterization cellular and subcellular fraction techniques are is indispensable method used in the biochemical research although the proper separation of many subcellular structures are absolutely depend on the preparative ultracentrifugation the isolation of large cellular structure the nuclear fraction mitochondria chloroplast or large protein precipitates can be achieved by conventional high speed refrigerator centrifugation but the differential centrifugation is based on the difference in the sedimentation rate of biological particles of different size and density so usually crude tissue homogenate containing organelle membrane vesicle and other structure fragments are divided into different fraction by stepwise increase of applied centrifugal force that's the reason to separate the different fractions into the different organelles or different component in the different fractions during the sedimentation process here you can see an example of the differential centrifugation the simply the tissue was taken and the purpose is to isolate the different component from the tissue so what it happened that the cell tissue the tissue was crushed and it is kept homogenized in the buffer system and then it is the filter to remove the debris now the supernatant to remove the major debris the supernatant was taken to separate out so you can see here at the low speed like this 1500g the nucleus and cytoskeleton got separated and at the 15000g the mitochondria lysozyme peroxisome etc chloroplast these are the separated because of the second in size the first was the biggest size was for the nucleus and cytoskeleton that separated first at the 600 g then at 15000 g mitochondrial lysozyme and peroxisomes are separated then at the 1 lakh g plasma membrane endoplasmic reticulum a small vesicle mitochondrial fractions these are separated then further increase in the centrifugation speed ribosome viruses and other macromolecules are separated so to increase the yield of membrane structure and protein aggregates released cellular debris pellets are often re-homogenized several times and then the recentrifuge it is especially important case for the rigid biological structure and this method is used for the separation of or the separation of each component of a cell cell component and you can see here in this picture that as you increase the filter speed of the centrifuge the different component got separated at the different time at different speed fuller model preparative ultra centrifuge this is the image of the fuller model preparative ultra centrifuge which are capable of spinning up to 40 different rotors to a speed of 1 lakh rpm that is the 8 lakh g for palleting of the samples it is also possible our zonal and con continuous flow separation method with precise speed and temperature control backman swinging bucket rotor or fixed angle rotors are available for this type of sample preparation and this is the most widely used preparative ultra centrifuge this is the schematic representation of an ultra centrifuge you can see here at the central part it is the motor which is capable to rotate the molecules at a very high speed here the rotor are fitted you can see here the how the rotor are fitted and everything is armored inside a chamber and that chamber having the temperature control system because to run a sample at very high speed the temperature should be very low otherwise chances of getting fire are very high furthermore it is equipped with the vacuum pump so the system should be in the vacuum otherwise the friction with the air also causes an increase in the temperature of the system so this chamber is vacuum is in the vacuum and it is at 4 degrees usually very cold and this is the 
showing mirror or the path length for the detectors that is the actually the features of the analytical ultra centrifuge so the analytical ultra centrifuge and preparative ultra centrifuge are almost similar only the difference of this presence of detector or mirror in the case of analytical ultra centrifuge otherwise both the centrifuge having similar kind of a schematic diagram you can see here the structure of rotor chamber it contains many components like the thermoelectric cooling elements that controls the temperature of this chamber then protective steeling ring that provide the protection then over speed detector sometimes if it is over speed then it indicates you so you can control the speed then speed sensor which measures the speed of the rot rotor then chamber door with the seal handles to tear to just case open and close then chamber door then door lock system then vacuum chamber which provides the vacuum to the chamber and it is the magnetic head for the rotor like magnet sensor so these are the major component of the chamber so you can see here a very neat diagram how the uh, preparative ultra centrifuge are manufactured you can see here the rotor adapter and this is the there are three rotor adapters are shown here which contains optical disc also and they can easily take all accommodate all kind of rotors so the preparative ultra centrifuge are available with wide variety of rotors suitable for a great range of experiment and most rotors are designed to hold tubes that contain the sample swinging bucket rotor allow the tubes to hang on hing so the tubes reorient to the horizontal as the rotor initially accelerates on the other hand fixed angle rotors are made up of single block of metals and hold the tube in cavities bored at the predetermined angle another rotary are the zonal rotor that are designed to contain large volume of the sample in a single central cavity rather than in the tube some zonal rotors are capable of dynamic loading and unloading the samples while rotor are spinning at high speed they are also used for gradient separation in which tubes are filled from the top to bottom with an increasing concentration of dense substance in the solution sucrose gradient are typically used for the separation of cellular organelle and the gradient of cesium chloride of course used for the separation of the nucleic acid so after the sample has spun at high speed for sufficient time to produce separation the rotor is allowed to come to the smooth stop and gradient is generally pumped out to each tube to isolate the components so these are the major features of the rotor that utilize or used in the preparative ultra centrifuge so as we already discussed that there are four types of rotor fixed angle rotor swinging bucket rotor vertical rotor and near vertical rotor but we have to know about the composition of the rotor how it is made and what are the strength of rotor so the rotors are made up of either aluminium or titanium or from the fiber reinforced composites a titanium rotor is designated by T or tin or T titanium as if the type 100 Ti or SW50 Ti these are the commercial names given to the rotors a composite rotor is designated by the fiber and it is it is its commercial name is the C named as C like the VC53 similarly aluminium rotor is designated by AC and it is given as VAC50 so the rotors without titanium carbon or aluminium such as type 25 are fabricated from the aluminium alloy then the we also consider that the tube compatibility with the rotor means that there are types of tube which type of tube is fitted with the which type of rotor so you can see here the there are many types of tubes and the rotors like you can see here the fixed angle rotor swinging bucket rotor and vertical rotor so the thin wall open tube is not suitable for the fixed angle but it is used for the swinging bucket rotors then thick wall open top is used for the is compatible with the fixed angle as well as swinging bucket rotor but not for the vertical rotor 
but thin walled shield is used for the all the three types of the rotor similarly oak ridge types of the tubes is suitable for the fixed angle but not for the swinging bucket and the vertical rotors then the we also aware with the types of rotor and their application like uh, rotor type for example fixed angle type is excellent for palleting and it is the set limited for the sedimentation and variable application in the isopicric centrifugation then swinging bucket rotor is insufficient for inefficient for palleting but good for the rate and zonal sedimentation and also good for the isopicnic solution and uh, the vertical rotor is not suitable for palleting but good for the rate and zonal centrifugation and excellent for the isopicnic method then n vertical rotor is not suitable for the palleting and uh, rate so excellent for the rate and zonal sedimentation and good for the isopicnic so these slide th here you can get the idea that what kind of rotor is suitable for what kind of application accordingly you can utilize or you can select the different types of rotor for the different purposes here you find the some ultra speed bit centrifuge and its rotor and its speed limit like l70 model is up to the having the capability up to the 70000 rpm l90 means it is up to the 90000 rpm then optima xpn 100 it is for the 100000 rpm optima max micro is 130000 rpm tl 100 for the 100000 rpm l 100 xp for the 100000 rpm like that then if you talks about the rotor these are the models of the rotor and its uh, year is given when it was the uh, comes in the market and its maximum speed are given like for example sw32 ti it comes in 2013 and its maximum speed is 32 rp thousand rpm and like that you can see here the list of all rotors are provided with their corresponding maximum speed the density gradient centrifugation is actually the main basis for the separation of the molecules during the preparative ultra centrifugation so it is important technique for the purification of proteins and nucleic acid so there are two types of density gradient centrifugation and used for the two different purposes first is the red zonal or zonal centrifugation in which the sucrose density gradient was used the another is the isopicric solution isopicnic centrifugation in which cdm chloride density gradient are used so you can see here in this picture that the moving zone centrifugation that initially the sample mixture of the sample is kept at the top and then it is centrifuged in a density gradient medium so the molecules with their according to their density are settled at the different density medium you can see here density 1 density 2 density 3 density 4 and density of analyte so accordingly the analytes are fixed or deposited at a, the particular density and the sample is applied in a thin zone at the top and centrifuge tube on the density gradient once the centrifugation proceeds for a longer time it starts moving towards the lower side and certainly stop at once it reach at their particular high density this is the example showing the same thing using the detector system that under ultra centrifugal force the particulate begin to sediment through gradient in the separate zone according to their size shape and density but you must be, be keep in mind that there is time is a very important factor if you run this experiment for the insufficient time then incomplete separation occurs while if you run for the overtime then co-precipitation occurs means mixture of the samples occurs you can see here once the things are separated if it can be detected directly as you can see increase in the peak at the increasing position in the tube so this is the basic concept of the red zonal centrifugation which is the component which is utilized for the separation of molecules under the ultra centrifuge preparative ultra centrifugation method 
the other method is the iso density method or iso picnic centrifugation technique in which the preparation of gradient using sucrose was done and you can see here this is the different from the red zonal centrifugation in the way that in the red zonal centrifugation samples are applied at the top but here the sample are applied is mixed together and then it centrifuge for a longer time so the molecules are starts moving as per the stokes law and the molecules with the high density goes towards the lower side and molecule with the low density is at the upper side but once they achieve achieve the molecule achieve their similar kind of density it starts stops moving so the molecules of the different density are separated at the different place in a tube if you compare both the method like the zone centrifugation and the isopicnic method red zonal centrifugation done at the lower speed not complete sediment or stop a particular time but the isopicnic method is completely sediment where the density is equilibrated and it run at the high speed because long run doesn't affect anymore both the technique used for the calculation of the density and the molecular mass but the in the case of moving zonal centrifugation similar density different molecular mass but in the isopicnic method similar molecular mass different density so moving zone centrifugation is used for the separation of nucleic acid and cell organelle while the isopicnic centrifugation method used for the separation of protein having similar density but different in the molecular masses so here we discuss about the density gradient centrifugation and a basic or very simple example that a typical flow chart showing that the subcellular fraction is depending upon the amount of starting material which could usually be between 1 to 5000 gram in the case of skeletal muscle preparation and the particular type of rotor and size of centrifuge tube is chosen for individual stage of isolation procedure so you can see here that the sucrose density gradient medium was prepared and the centrifugation was done so centrifugation was done in a way that the muscle tissue was first homogenized and then it run for the 10 minutes at 10 1000 g so the tissue homogenate are separated into two component one is the nucleus cell debris and other is the supernatant then the supernatant was taken further for the centrifugation at 10,000 G for 10 minutes. So the contractile apparatus are got separated in as a precipitate and the supernatant was taken which was further centrifuge at 20 for 20 minutes at 20,000 G the mitochondria got separated and then supernatant was further centrifuged at 1,000 G for 60 minutes the crude microsome are got separated and cytosol are together so in the way you can see that all component of cell can be centrifuged at a different time at a different speed and can easily be separated from the mixture to the purified form so at last we discuss about the what are the cares has to be taken for the centrifuge and the rotor because this is a very important point if you don't care your equipment it got damaged very soon and it is the useless so there are the following things has to be very very critically considered while the using this centrifuge ultra centrifuge first carefully read and op read the operating manuals or review the proper inst instruction before use any centrifuge select the proper operating condition on the instrument then check the rotor chamber and key lines and the damage if you find anything then you must assure that any such kind of thing is not there before the using so if you find such kind of problem then better to call the person from the company or from the maintenance so he can see select the proper rotor many sizes and types are available so depending upon what kind of application what kind of work you are going to do so accordingly you can select the rotor be sure that rotor are clean and undamaged 
Fill that centrifuge tube or bottle should be weighed carefully to balance before the centrifugation. So balanced in terms of not in terms of volume, in terms of mass. So their mass must be equal because a slight difference in their mass during rotation is leads to the very high difference in the their forces. So it unbalanced the ultra centrifuge. And the rotor manufacturers provide the maximum allowable speed limit to each rotor. So better to keep below that speed, not exceed that limit. Otherwise, a fatal accident can occur. Then keep an accurate record of centrifuge and rotor uses. And of course, balance, maintain the logbook. If usual, noise or vibration developed during the ultra centrifugation. I suggest you to immediately turn it off and then check what was the possible reason. Then at the last carefully clean the rotor chamber and rotor after the centrifugation. So if you draw a diagram of the sedimentation coefficient with the density of the molecule you find that the molecule having a strong correlation and as in the earlier case you have seen already that the molecules of the different size got separated at the different speed so this is the typical example you can see here in the figure that the sedimentation coefficient is proportional to the density of the molecule and each molecule having their different density and hence they have their sedimentation coefficient is depend on the density and this is the typical diagram showing that the small particles need a strong g force the smallest particle needs high g force to go for the separation and the super speeds are not sufficient 5000 50 to 100000 is maximum so as the lower bigger molecule is separated at the, at the very low speed and the higher mo smaller molecules needs very high speed to get separated so this is the typical example you can see here in the figure that the sedimentation coefficient is proportional to the density of the molecule and each molecule having their different density and hence they have their sedimentation coefficient is depend on the density and this is the typical diagram showing that the smallest particle needs high g force to go for the separation and the super speeds are not sufficient 5000 50 to 100000 is maximum so as the lower bigger molecule is separated at the, at the very low speed and the higher mo smaller molecules needs very high speed to get separated here i am showing a typical figure for the separation of blood components you can if you take the blood component it having different types or different molecules with a different size and type and that can be separate this figure is clearly showing that how these molecules are separated at the different speed because of their differences in their densities there are many other application of the um, preparative centrifuge for example it is used for the separation of dna and rna and viruses protein and the cell organelle and their typical application for the dna sequencing gene therapy cloning expression and most appropriate rotor for the separation of dna and rna are the vertical and fixed angle rotor and the typical separation method is the cesium chloride density gradient up to 4 lakh g using ethidium bromide staining for the viruses it is a typical application are the vaccine production gene therapy vector and swinging bucket rotor is the better one and sucrose density gradient was applied for the protein is used for the protein structure studies proteomics hdl hd ldl studies and the fixed angle rotor is most appropriate and the rate zonal separation method up to 6 lakh g is utilized for the cellular organelle fractionation cell function membrane biology and mitochondrial dna study and it, the fixed angle rotor is suitable and it is used for the typical method is the differential palleting low speed for cell and high speed for smaller organelles so now we can summarize that the, in the preparative center of fugation it is the aim to isolate or purify specific particles such as subcellular organelles mitochondria dna and anything it is further subdivided in, into two groups like the differential centrifugation and density gradient centrifugation 
and then molecules separate according to their size density under the centrifugal force so i must say thank you to all of you for listening this lecture thank you very much